so uh, when you say you know uh, this entrepreneur has got a infinite mindset right uh, the real challenge uh, that i find uh, is uh, you know uh, the profit on entrepreneur looks at a journey uh, but there is a money contradiction with the employees that they want to attract yes. okay so how do you really resolve this uh, you know i would say conflict or uh, you know the fact that there is a money needed there is a long journey but today if you want to attract talent you need the money so how do you really balance the journey with versus the money very good question swami so i'll tell you what we've done in netcore okay in netcore we have 25% of stock held by employees okay now uh, we had wanted to look at an uh, ipo last year but market conditions were such that we could not basically make it happen and since then we've increased our investments in markets outside india which means our profitability will not necessarily grow but uh, our opportunity size will grow so what we did was we created the because we are profitable we created a perpetual employee liquidity uh, esop liquidity program so employee can basically sell back the stock or the options that they have at any point of time and we can buy it because the company is profitable we have cash reserves which we can use for this so i think uh, obviously it's not it may not be at the market price it's a little bit lower because you also give out stock at a lower price so it it's, it balances out both ways the delta which really matters yeah true. for for people so our approach really has been that uh, uh, i think for most employees uh, money is of course important uh, but beyond that is also the culture and i think what proficons can basically do because you can actually put employees at the center because you're not firing them people know that i will not be made a scapegoat for mistakes overspending by by the founding team or by some decisions which they've made as long as i am performing there is some level of security uh, that is there because we are thinking long term we can make bets where the payoffs may not be very short term i don't have to worry about necessarily uh, showing rapid growth on a quarter on quarter basis i can afford to do some of the investments which will uh, yield outcomes after some time i mean we today we invest netcore for example again we are investing in us and europe because we believe those are large markets it will take us time to succeed but there's a commitment that we've got to make these happen so that's where the next sort of growth is going to come from however if there was an investor potentially they could say look you've been trying for a couple of years nothing has worked out stop that investment mm. and then because they have veto rights on many of the decisions my big financial decisions i would have no option so i think because the entrepreneur has a lot of independence in a proficon i think it works out well for the culture of the company and also for employees from a longer term in the short term obviously if you are funded by uh, investors you know you can afford to pay more but we've seen this story pay out in the last couple of years people were paid very high but they were also the early ones to get laid off in difficult times and then if your lifestyle sort of rises to meet the higher level it becomes it's a very hard uh, thing to come down uh, what is there so i believe that you have to motivate people by the vision the problem you are going to solve rather than by just short term measures on on money etc i mean i think because you are profitable i think you can uh, i think every proficon technically can introduce liquidity programs for employees so they benefit as the company grows now of course it's an internal measure with the stock price but there's also upside which is there for people 